Well, we're here at SEC Football Media Days in Dallas with a, a true legend of the sport, Heisman Trophy winner Danny Werfel. And, uh, Danny, thanks for uh, joining us today. Yeah, absolutely great to be with you. Thanks. Um, Danny, you've always been a guy who's uh, had strong faith and uh, believed in giving back, and that's a big reason why you're here this week, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we, uh, for 20 years now, my foundation, we've been doing the Werfel Trophy for Community Service, a college football award, not for touchdowns or rushing yards, but for doing good in the community. And uh, we've been really excited about that. We've been trying to figure out a way to kind of really not just have a winner, but promote all the guys that are doing great work. And along the way, we got to know the, the team at the Allstate Good Works team. Big fan of what they do. And so today is exciting for us because we're announcing a partnership with the Werfel Foundation, Allstate, AFCA, are combining forces to promote both the Good Works team, which is like the All-American team for doing community service, and the Allstate Werfel Trophy, which is like the, the Heisman for, for, for doing community service. And so it's a real exciting day. We're looking forward to shining a light more on what these young men are doing all around the country and really all around the world. I, I should have asked you this before we got started, but I cover LSU and Baton Rouge. I believe there's been some LSU guys involved with what you've done, right? Yeah, yeah. Our very first winner uh, 20 years ago was Rudy Nicewanger from LSU. Uh, he's been an incredible ambassador for LSU and for the Werfel Trophy, and we'll be celebrating his 20th anniversary uh, as a winner here uh, this upcoming year, and uh, he's, been, he's been great. Awesome. So this time of year, as we're starting to count down to football, is this an exciting time for you? Yeah, oh, it is. I mean, this is a, a great time. You know, you even just hear the energy and the enthusiasm and all the storylines, and, of course, now with Texas and Oklahoma joining the SEC, there's so much excitement to talk about. You know, Florida opens up with Miami, yeah. which is a huge kind of unique, exciting first game for the Gators. So uh, a lot of excitement around college football. Billy Napier as a guy from Louisiana who actually went to UL Lafayette, um, he did things there that no one has done and maybe no one will ever do there. Uh, he's entering year three, and we are in a, uh, a Twitter society and a fire the coach society, but uh, how do you feel about him going into this, this season? Yeah, I feel like he's done a great job. Uh, I think he's one of the best culture builders as a head coach I've ever been around. Um, and, and the way and the things that they do, the intentionality is great. You know, acquiring talent is a big part of this world that we live in, and it's challenging now with the NIL. I think they've done a great job. The team is, is bigger. Uh, they're faster. They're deeper than we were last year. You know, we've got a horrendous schedule, uh, probably one of the worst perhaps in college football history, maybe. Um, and so I think the, the good part of that is everyone's down on the Gators. Everybody's like, yeah, they're not going to be that great. So I think we have a chance to really surprise some people and have a great year. Uh, I think if we could win eight games, it would be a very fantastic season for us. Good deal. Uh, and the LSU game, the Tigers come to uh, the Swamp this year, and it's in uh, November, so it'll be a little cooler. So it might be 85 instead of 95. <laughs> yeah. uh, so what, what are your thoughts on just kind of watching LSU from afar? Man, you know, the LSU, when I was there, is a big rivalry. There's been some really iconic games over the years and recent, but uh, that, that's a big one on the schedule. I think for both those teams, you know, we have other, other teams that may think of as being a big rivalry, but for some reason that, that Florida LSU game is a big one. We're happy to have it in the swamp this year, and hopefully we can get a, get a W there. That would be a big one for us. As a Heisman Trophy winner watching Jaden Daniels, and in particular, not to bring up bad memories, but what he did against Florida last yeah, year is yeah. pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, an incredible player, an incredible quarterback, an incredible athlete, uh, both the arm talent, the decision-making, the ability to run, uh, just elite level. was really, really happy for him and, and, uh, and unhappy for us. <laughs> Uh, your guy, Graham Mertz, had a chance to meet him and talk to him at the Manning Passing Academy not too long ago. Great personality, uh, upbeat guy, uh, said all the things that you said about Napier, that he pushes him every day, even a, you know, a day in March or April when it's spring football and it can be boring. Napier's got the energy to make you maximize the day, right? Yeah, I think Graham Mertz is like one of the true relics of college football. He started before there was NIL. I think he's one of the true like professionals where he's you know he's he's being he's successful he now he, he's part of the NIL stuff but yet he still goes about his day in a real unique way. I think he loves his university which is a, a cool thing to still see in this day and age. Uh, he's a phenomenal leader, a veteran. Um, I'm just really grateful that, that he's there and you know of course we've got a young potential superstar in DJ Lagway underneath that I think will benefit tremendously by coming up under Graham Mertz. A few more things with the great Danny Werfel here in uh, Dallas. 
Okay, a trip down memory lane. All right, so uh, Kevin Falk, LSU's all-time leading rusher, he's doing some work with us. And I remember in 1996, I think LSU started 4-0, 5-0. They were going to Florida. It's a big game. Going to come through here in this big spot. 56-13, to Florida over the LSU Tigers. What a nightmare that day. You could not miss huh. throwing the football. Well, one person's nightmare is another person's, you know, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful dream. Uh, man, everything came together really well for us that day. Um, we, we, were, we were hitting everything, and it, was, it, it, it almost seems a little bit surreal to, to think to have that much success against that good of a team. Yeah, uh, and you, you won the Heisman Trophy. Have you ever thought about if you played today, how NIL would affect you? I mean, you came from a, uh, a very humble, the, your parents I'm sure kept you humble. You were never really this uh, talker, yapper, you know, you were grounded. Do, 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 you, do you think about if I was playing right now during NIL, how that would affect me? Hard to say. I mean, I think social media changes the world you live in. That makes things more complicated. Uh, anytime you introduce uh, money to young people, that's another interesting, challenging thing. You know, uh, every now and then, yeah, I think about I maybe could have made more money in college than I would have made in my NFL career. Uh, <laughs> so maybe I missed the missed the era by that. But I'm just super grateful. My time at Florida was some of the best years of my life, and it shaped the trajectory of my life. It's given me the opportunity to have a platform to do things like. Uh, the Allstate Werfel Trophy and, and do things to make the world better. All right, let's end with this. Venues in college football, obviously you're going to be uh, perhaps biased to the Swamp, but is the Swamp still the best venue in college football? Uh, well, I'm obviously biased. I think that the proximity to the field is closer than most places, and it goes up really sharply, so there's a, it's like you're right on top of the field. I think that's unique. Um, but there are some pretty, pretty amazing places to play, uh, don't get me wrong, but... Um, what I'm about to say is, you know, 50% uh, arrogant and 50% true is, you know, you, you put up four touchdowns really quick in some of those stadiums and they don't st seem as loud either. <laughs> That's always the deal, right? The players dictate, uh, you know, the, the, the crowd and how long they stay in it. Danny Werfel, Heisman Trophy winner, Florida Gator. Thanks for joining us today and best thanks of luck with me. everything Appreciate with it. your foundation. Thank you.